Good morning. How are you feeling today? It is 7.59 Eastern Standard Time. I am Tess Marie and welcome to the Morning Blessings where you will get that little vitamin you need for the day. Good morning, Stacey, my dear. How are you feeling this morning? Hello, Ryan. Good morning, Angelina and Ryan. How are you guys feeling this morning? Today, it's the question. I want you guys, you know, you, said you guys are the young ones right there. Angelina, Ryan, Stacy. Thank you, Stacey, for that. Um, yes, what are we going to do about that question? I want you guys to get that question. I want you to know that that question, you have to... <laughs> you wouldn't figure it out yet. So, but we are... It's 8 o'clock, so let us start this thing on the road. The question, that's what I put. And I better swallow that little bit of collagen coffee. Good morning, Marina. How are you feeling today? I'm going to swallow my collagen coffee before I do anything. Morning, Jordan. All the people that need to understand this question are here. Thank you. That was good. Coffee down. Let's get the show on the road. <coughs> good morning. So, the question is, hi, Hello, Colin. Good morning. How are you doing today? Um, the question is for us to look at ourselves in a different way. Really? No. Mm -mm. Instead of asking, you know, you get that frustrated time in your life. We get to the point. If somebody says, I never go through the point where something I did or something that's going on frustrates me to the point and I'm working on it. And you, you, you question that. But then, instead of questioning it in, in a way, you question it with a, an accusable. You're accusing yourself. What am I doing wrong? Why do we always use that question? If you call me, good morning, Yoko. How are you on this stunning, beautiful morning? What are we doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? That's what we all ask. I am guilty of it. Good morning, Peter. When we hit that wall, how are you feeling today, Peter? When we hit that wall, whether it's an internal wall, an outside wall, a frustration at work, a frustration over here, a frustration if our family, our children, our siblings, our parents, a frustration, we always ask that one question. What am I doing wrong? And if we dare ask it of someone, they're going to tell us. They're going to give us a litany of what we are doing wrong. They're going, that's great. They're going to tell us this is wrong. That's all what you're doing wrong. This is how long it is. But is that really true? Or why do we do concentrate on what is we did wrong? Why? Why is it we cannot get our act together and push ourselves and admit and acknowledge and give it and give it energy the things we did right instead of always concentrating good morning loretta how are you feeling this morning on the things we did wrong why do we do this and that really get got into me because as i said when i come to speak with you or, or give you something is because I want you to realize that I too face those same challenges you do. We ask ourselves that question when we are frustrated, when we feel defeated, when we didn't win, when what we were looking for eluded us, when what we were seeking. It's we, all we do, we concentrate on what we didn't get right or it's wrong. What did I do wrong? Even to a point when you have a child that has gone astray or a behavior in a child, in a family member, somebody you, you help coach, you raise, you dedicated your time to, and you look at it and you go to your best friend or to your friend or your sister or somebody, what did I do wrong? That is not how I raised them. And we are taking that load and we're carrying it. What did I do wrong? My mother doesn't even understand me. She doesn't understand that I need to be me. What am I doing wrong? Why can't this not take me to her? 
or when the child or the person that you're doing your best you looks at you and say to you you messed up you didn't know what to do with me you didn't know how to raise me and then you take that and you go on and you ask yourself that question again what did i do wrong you did not do anything wrong good morning Arita. how are you feeling this morning you did nothing nothing wrong but what happened is that is how we are trained to think always concentrate on what is not working what is not going the way we desire to to go what did i do wrong is the eternal question the minute a little bit of frustration or a challenge knocks on the door thank you arita we go with what did i do wrong that is not where we should put our energy i understand this this is why i said instead of asking the question what i am doing wrong why don't we turn it around and say what am i doing right because we forget the things that we do that are right we forget that we give a helping hand to a neighbor that's right but we would remember a, a bad word between the neighbors instead so what am i doing right and when we you this is not easy right you will not find this one easy at all. Hmm. What am I doing right? Are you going to find it sitting on your doorstep waiting for you to know it? No, you won't. You will, it will take you a longer period of time to find what you are doing right than what you're doing wrong because it is always so glaring. It is noisy. And there are others that will make sure they let you know where you messed up. They came into the world to tell you where you messed up. And they come into the world to make sure they tell everybody they meet, hey, you messed up again. You did that wrong. And because of that, we are clouded. Even in school, the teacher will celebrate the one that wins. At, at the bank, we had that. They always talked about the person that was celebrating getting the success, getting the sales. But they never celebrated the one that was steady and showed up and maybe spent hours solving a problem for a client. I remember we had a girl. She's on, she, I'm sure she doesn't care what I say. Her name is Rochelle. Rochelle used to be customer service queen to clients. You have a problem. She solved it. But it was never enough unless you had sales coming out of your yin yin. And yesterday I was talking to my friend and we talked about that and we said, yeah, remember they celebrated them, send them on a trip and they come back and a week later they're fired because everything they did, hi Lorna, good morning, was horrible. So this is what you must remember. They will always celebrate that. But the person that is not giving them this they show them all the reasons how you can do that. You need to coach them, get them in the office, talk to them, make them climb a mountain that is not within their reach. And if this fail, you're going to, when you find out they did climb the mountain, but the way they got there, they cheated. And now you're firing them. You see what I mean? So the question is, always find out what it is I do right. That young lady could always say, you know what? I helped that client to figure this out. I, I saved that person that money that way. That is difficult to do because the, what we do wrong is, or what we believe we we're doing wrong is black and dark and heavy. And what we do right is always small and tiny. That's why what we do right leads to success because we can build on it. And it's difficult and challenging to build on a small thing to go to success. And you're pushing away a little bit of that terrible, terrible darkness. And it's not moving. And when you look, all you can see is the dark. You cannot see that little thing. You just can't see the shining. I have a good experience. I'm doing a new journey and helping others with menopause. <laughs> You're, you're stuck on that one, aren't you? <laughs> and that so said to me, why are you doing this again? I was thinking, hmm, I said I'm doing it amazing. I'm doing amazing. You see what I mean? An amazing journey. 
so she didn't want to be happy for me no but that if you feel you're experiencing something and you're sharing it to help somebody else as i said to you guys many times when you concentrate on what you do well you're going to ruffle feathers they cannot stand it and that is what it is that person wants to remind you of doing it and maybe not doing it according to her standards so you need to understand this what am i doing right is your business it doesn't belong to others that is why sometimes you need to take the little secret of all and say keep it your mouth shut until the chicken hatch do not count them do not say anything to them do not pick up the phone and tell somebody i am doing this because you already know they're going to tell you they don't care and you, you why are you doing it i wouldn't do it that's how they talk and and you have to listen to that by the time you're off the phone or, or wherever you are so exhausted that you're crawling on your hands and knees to find a place to rest and to regain your 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 life your joy because you're thriving in that small area listen to me when we concentrate on what we do well we are making it grow and when we need to ask a question instead when you're facing it and that is where gratitude comes in um gratitude and love and understanding that is where it comes in when you say to somebody and you're feeling it oh god this is what am i doing wrong why am i doing this wrong instead of doing that why do you go and ask that question in the other way oh god show me what i did right today please I need to know what I did right today. And you're putting energy and you're giving life to what you did right today. And that is what it is. Ambitious chemist. Bonjour. Welcome. So when we, you, you're faced with the question, because the big question of what you am I doing wrong when you're frustrated and goals and settings and all of these things are not happening, switch that. Turn it around. And say, show me what I did right today. Incorporate this in your nighttime practice. Try it. It's amazing. Instead of going through the download period of your life before you go to sleep, because that's when we download. And we download sometimes some horrible, nasty shit. It's time you take that opportunity and ask that simple question, what did I do right today? What did I do that enhanced me today? What did I do that inspired someone today? What did I do that educated someone today? What did I do that empowered someone today? Did you tell the clerk at the store that packed your grocery? Head? Thank you. You do a good job. Do you know they are the lowest on the totem pole for income? And when you give them that little bit of energy or the man that pushes the carts into back and forth between the grocery and the packed store and the parking lot. Yesterday, what did I go? I don't know. I was out somewhere. Yes. And the man, I went to get, oh, I can't remember, something simple. I needed it anyway. So the guy is parking the cart pulling them out from the store, putting them into the store. Nice man. And this lady said to him, oh, hi, how are you? Thank you for helping me in there to find something. And he, he said, my pleasure. And he, she said to him, how are you doing? I am doing amazing. And that wasn't the first time I heard him. But if you saw him, you know that he's, he's challenged to a certain point. But he said, I am doing amazing. And that was that. I, I didn't, I wasn't in, I was passing, going to my car. And, they, and he, she was going to hers, but closer to where he was. And that is what he said. So sometimes that person that you give a little, you, you say hi to, because you have the ability to shop and you have money and they are working at that low end job, that doesn't mean you're better than them. If there was another person which I did not observe in the vicinity of these two, did they hear that? Did they hear him say, I am doing amazing, thank you? Wow. Wow. 
Is that the woodcutter and the king? Why are you so happy? The king asked. The woodcutter said, I'm happy as the day is long. And the king could not say that. So that's why we need to ask ourselves, and especially in the evening when we are winding down, have a cup of tea. Do whatever it is to calm you down. Pause. Relax. Look out the window. It's summertime for us. Go outside for a minute and say, you know what? What did I do good today? What did I do well today? What am I doing well every day? And remember it. And don't neglect, neglect it and leave it falling on the ground. Pick it up and smile at it. We talk to plants so they grow. Hey, we talk to dogs like they're humans. You expect them to understand you, but you cannot understand the good things you did today. What did I do today that was right? Put that in your nighttime practice right now. Because when you're doing your gratitude, be grateful that you smiled at someone today. Instead of being, great, uh, being angry at the person that almost broke your leg with the shopping cart. Because you see, where we put our attention, this is where energy flows. What we feel, what we feed, we feed thrives. Whatever we feed, it thrives. So the speck of what we did well is the size of a dime. The speck or the size of what we didn't do well is as big as a pound. It's as big as a, a $2 bill. It's just a coin, sorry. It's big. And if you put them next together, the darkness from what we did wrong is going to push to overshadow what we did right. But on a cloudy day, the sun does not let the cloud take it all. The sun teaches us to keep doing your best. Keep doing what you do right every day. Because one day, the sun will shine through for you. One day. Believe it. One day, when you look up, what you gave your attention to will thrive. And it is what, if it's what you do well, and you do right, you will be blessed to smile at it, and it will smile right back at you and give you more of it. That little speck of your did wells and your next times are the hard ones. We were trained to concentrate on the wrong things and to fix it. In the meantime, over there, we have things that we do well and we can make them get better. And if you go there, like Stacey says, and work on the menopause thing in her own way and explain it to others, somebody's going to ask her, where did you go to school to learn to do that? It's not your business. There, common sense beats education. Book smart doesn't always give you all what you need, although sometimes we need that. The people that cram, I have looked at people and my children told me, no play, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Jack will be 18 and deciding he's going to die because he just cannot live up to the demands of the parents that wants him to be their version of what he should be successful. So faith always rewards us for hanging in there. Yes, it does. And one of the things, Georgie, we cannot make things go the way it decides to go. Our job is to harness the moment in time and look at the little things that are thriving and fix them. Continue to feed them. Continue to pay them attention. When you kiss and you hug another human being, they give you the same back. But if you're constantly stepping on your toe, you know, don't you realize one day they're not going to be there for you? They won't grow in your space. They might walk away and leave you standing there wondering, what did I do wrong? And that is too late. Wondering what did you do wrong when the well is empty? When you have drained every ounce of snow and blood from that human being, every ounce of patience, if your criticism, and then they go, they left. 
And you're standing there, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. Really? You need to look at what we did right at the moment. Don't wait until the well is empty for us to figure out that, hey, we messed up. If we concentrate on what we do right, we will end up always having something to thrive in our life. And where things are thriving, the people will thrive. Where things are going well, where things are looking, even if it is this small, tiny, you know the seed for a from a lettuce is actually smaller than the dot of a pen. But look at the bush you get from that. That big lettuce bush you buy at the store, hey, just go and Google what is what does the seed of a lettuce look like? That one seed. But you think the lettuce is not going to thrive and is covered in dirt? black dirt and that tiny little seed i want to be green i want to be green and it's pushing the little engine that could it has not it is not letting go it's pushing its little head through and that is how you thrive so you have a plant and you have an idea and you have something that you're doing that is great and you hear someone bemoaning that they're not able to succeed at doing this and you have an answer. But you're so afraid that they might get better than you that you hold on to your little answer. Have you noticed you don't grow? Just because you did not share what you had, a thought, it's not your money, but I, I like, my friend told me of, a, of a two cloths to buy. One to clean the windows and one to clean the, the, what do you call it, the stainless steel that we like so much that is more of a problem than anything else in the world. And they weren't cheap. Two pieces of fabric for $80. But man, it cleans the fridge. It cleans all these appliances. And it's so very simple. She could have sat there and look at me and my finger marking print um, appliances, especially with the, the two and a half foot human we have running around here. And just, hmm, mine doesn't look like this. What did you do good today? She's going to, if she didn't know that, that is something she can put on her gratitude journal. I am so pleased that I am so grateful that I gave Tessa Marie the, the the tool that she needed for her to do this, to fix that, to arrange that. And instead of sitting and holding it tight, you're sitting on it like a hen that's waiting to hatch eggs. And you're just holding. Have you noticed you don't grow? Have you noticed you look more tired than most people? That you're dry looking and you have no smile, your skin is shallow? That's because you're not sharing. No, nothing is going out of you. So something new can come into you. Oh, and I don't let anybody know my secret. Oh, really? Just Google the secret. Put the word, that secret you think you have, and nobody else has it, and you're not going to share it, so that you, and you, you're tight, Google it. It's there. Somebody has already shared it. So remember, is what you do well, you have to concentrate on. So this lesson is for all of us to learn that. At the end of the day, when you are winding down for sleep, that's the time you need to ask that question. What it is I did good today? What am I doing or what I did right today? Write it down and go back tomorrow and do more of it. Do more of it. Whatever it was you did that was right, walk with a, with a, with a sprint in yourself like you own this world. And continue to do it because we all make mistakes and there are things we did not do so well but if we concentrate on those they will grow that's why I gave you all those examples of what we do wrong so that you know to avoid them in the future and concentrate on the things that we do we do right so that they will thrive where energy goes it will thrive where we put our attention, this is where energy flows. What we feed thrives. So if we have things that are thriving, this is where we should put our attention. What, feels, what, we, what we feel and concentrate on is what that thrives. Whatever we feel is filling. 
and what we concentrate on it and we feel it I feel it I love how I feel how many of you have actually said to yourself or out loud to know what I love the talents that I have and maybe your talent is might be like Angelina she can play the piano she can sing she can she can do and she has a beautiful voice maybe you have a voice to do a podcast Maybe you have a, maybe you're a very good cook. Maybe you're a very good person to sit and chat with. Maybe you listen well. Maybe you give good song advice. That's where you continue. Maybe you have unwavering faith and you can hold the hand of somebody going through the rough waters and say, hold on, hold on. It will dawn soon. It's darkest before the dawn. Thriving has two sides though. I saved that for the last six minutes. Like everything in life, thriving, when we hear it, that word, we see the good one. But again, there is yin and yang. So if you pour all your attention into the horrible, sad, miserable thing the government is doing, the people are doing, that's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to feel. That's all you're going to share. And it will not make you feel good either. If all you see is what is not good with the world, then that will grow more in your life. You will have more reasons to share that. That is why thriving has two sides. Whatever you feed thrives. You choose. What do you want to see thrive in your life today? If you concentrate on a child or young human being and all you see is their number one faults and all their faults, remember you were 22. Remember you made some mistakes that your parents may be younger than that. Remember you made some choices that your parents didn't like. So do not concentrate on what is wrong in this human being. Concentrate in what you see is right in them and when the horrible thing comes here, shift it. They have a job, they're healthy, they might not go to university like you wanted them to go, but somehow, some way, they're thriving in something. Find the needle in the haystack of all the times they failed and pull the needle out and thread it by giving it, saying, wow, you did that well. Wow, you understand it. I am I'm grateful I chose to be here. Yeah, we have to be grateful. For just showing up. And, and maybe you say, well, why do I have to show up to listen to you? That's not what it is. Why do you show up? Is it because somebody says, good morning, how are you feeling today? Or somebody calls you by your name? What it is that somebody else watching has seen you and say, oh, how are you feeling, so-and-so? Welcome. Or like Stacy that comes and gives us welcome to the morning blessings. It, Celebrate that. Celebrate that you were able to cook a dinner for yourself and it was amazing. Celebrate you didn't burn the house down when you were doing it because one false step and everything can go the other way. So thriving has two sides. Which sides do you want to keep working on? The tiny one that just shows you a little bit of things you did good today. Build on it, breathe on it, play music to it. So that it will grow like the plants that you give your life for. That you want your plant to grow in the house and you're dancing and you're wiping it and you're doing this. Yay! Celebrate the small things you did right today. So choose to see the tiny speck that is getting clearer instead of the big glob that is there. So where there is a big glob, there is always a tiny speck that is not the same color as the glob. Somehow, all we see is the glob. We see someone that is aging and they cannot walk properly. Or they cannot bend. They cannot do so. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I, 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 I sat with someone once upon a time. And a lady that is 92 years old today. And at that time, she must be 90 or 89, and she's walking. And this person said to me, look at her. She's not walking very good, is she? 
And I remember saying that she's in her late 80s. She had a little dog named Sparky, and she would walk with her little dog every day, three, four times a day. Hmm. If all we see in others is what is not good in their life, hey, <laughs> what you contemplate on, this is what you receive. What you say, that's what you get. Needless to say, Felice, this little old lady is still walking. And do I have to tell you what has happened to the person who said that all those years ago? No, I'm sure you know. And that's what we have to remember. I do not have to say that. And that's why I teach. I do not motivate you to speak with you. I teach you. I want you to watch your words. She talked about this lady at 89, and maybe at the time she might have been 65. She's 70. Can't walk. So we have to be careful with these words of ours. That's why it's important to celebrate saying, I heard another person say to the same lady, when I get to be, I want to be just like you when I get older. So because I want to walk and go for my walks and all of that. Hey. Which one? We both going to get what we asked for. Oh, here comes my niece all the way from Dominica. Oh my God. Hello, Jess. Oh my goodness gracious. For you, Jess. That's my niece. Um. Anyway, so we have to ask ourselves a question. Instead of asking ourselves, what did I do wrong? The question that is important and the most important question is, what did I do right today? And celebrate it. When you're doing your nighttime practice, your downloading of your day, make sure you find the space in all that wasn't great in the day to find the space of what I did right today. And that's where you put your energy. What did I do right today? And watch your word. Thriving has two sides. If you put your energy on what is not positive for yourself or you put people down or you criticize or you drag them down, that will thrive in your own life because it's yours, it doesn't belong to them. If you flip it and you see all that's good and you, you, you celebrate that or what you did well, you take it to bed, you know what? At the end of the day, I loved how I love today. Even if it's just loving yourself, your husband, your sweetheart, your, your significant other, whatever, your children. Take that to fall asleep with. Because the big glob is always going to be there. What we need to feed is the tiny speck that keeps growing, if it is given, an opportunity to thrive. And it's all up to us. Every word we speak is a prophecy of our life. It's tomorrow. Like this lady saying this one is not working too good. And then it really is her, her responsibility, her situation now. At the time, I didn't know. Although all I could say was she's walking, she's 89. And then the other young woman on the street is saying to her in my presence, the 89 year old, when I go up, I want to be as walking my dog and doing just like you. Ask the guy that is pushing the cart at the supermarket, how are you doing? What did that take from you? He taught me something, although I use it, and he might have taught another person within earshot of his words. I am doing amazing. Thank you. And he always, so you see what I mean? Choose what it is you need in your life to thrive because both sides will thrive. There is no way that you can speak the gloom and gloom about everybody else and you thrive. There is no flipping way. You are going to get the shit. They don't, they might, if they hear you, maybe dislike you, but it won't affect them unless they take the turn and be like you. And it is best to let them go. Everything thrives. Wherever attention goes, energy flows. Do not forget that. 
have an amazing and wonderful day and I appreciate each and every one of you who took the time to press the button and if you came just now you got exactly what you needed for today if you were there from the beginning then you got the full dose of the penicillin or the vaccination therefore when you're going to bed tonight in your nighttime practice make sure you remember to celebrate what you did right today have a great and wonderful day let me see who is still hanging here with us because you know you come and you go i'm stacy arita angelina yuko georgie colleen ryan lordy loretta great to see you guys angelina said perfect i am um, somebody keys joined at the end. What did I do right today? I will ask myself that question tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Tess Marie. Let's all celebrate tomorrow's Tess's book. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so the ebook is so the ebook is out tomorrow. Officially out tomorrow. The ebook. So this is what the cover looks like. The paperback will be out. I think in a couple of days they take longer, but the ebook is being released tomorrow on Amazon. So you can always go and order it tomorrow. Don't forget. But the real books, the paperback will be, I think, in a few days. I have to look at the date because they give you a date. So make sure that you remember. Thank you, Stacy. You see what I mean? What did you do right today, Stacy? I reminded Tessa Marie to talk about her book because she needs to. Yes. The five pillars of prosperity. This is what we live our life by in this group here. So make sure you celebrate this. Have a great and wonderful day, everybody. We are, I'm excited. It's such a nice book. So I, I'm trusting that you pick something from it that can help you. And remember, pick the thing that is thrive, th thriving in your life and push it a little further. Have a great and wonderful day. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I appreciate you, and I'm happy and grateful for your time with me today. Bless you.